Hey beauties, we are back for another video and today's video is a collab with my girl that's across the pond. Yes, I am talking about my girl Vilma over in the UK. Today's video, we are talking about our favorites from the drugstore. She's going to share with her favorites and I'm going to share mine. And the great thing about it is I'm normal to dry. She's combination oily. So you're going to get a mix up of our favorites as well. And she's going to be showing you some favorites over in the UK. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button over to her and show her some love let her know that I sent you and if you're from Vilma's channel what's up you got a new friend girlfriend boyfriend you got a new friend I would love for you guys to come in click the subscribe button I can wait a girl can wait and know that every Tuesday Friday and Sunday I post videos so let's just get straight into this video yeah. so we're starting off with moisturizer I'm gonna list everything down below but sunscreen and SPF are a must so I'm just uh, rubbing it into the skin and making sure it's the best but of course this is from your drugstore now I'm going in with my brows I'm using a brow powder by L'Oreal and I want to say it's in mocha and I'm just gonna fill in my brows per use I have found out that I really really like brow powder and then brow pencil brow pomade is a little bit too more it's still like waxy and stark and I already have kind of like a full brow but if I can kind of control it with brow powder that's pretty much what I'm trying to say but if you have no brow kit you can use like a you can use a what am I trying to say here you can use a brow powder and that was actually an eyeshadow so you know multi-purpose your products you know what I'm saying now I'm just using the NYX uh, this is the palette that I always use NYX has some really good products by the way so I'm just cleaning it up um, I thought I was using the palette but this is the full coverage this is an OG O double G I think I wanted to say that I'm sorry y'all I'm corny today sorry but I'm um, just cleaning up under the brows and just really structuring the brow right now but it's a really really good that's a good concealer and it's very full coverage so just cleaning up my brows like I see brows y'all are everything to me putting on the brow stylus plumper I love this now I'm using my usual favorite this is the NYX dark circle concealer I think this is in 03 NYX has some amazing quality drugstore products it's my favorite color corrector um, I do have a video so I'll link it in here now I am putting some of that around my mouth just because uh, a lot of times women of color tend to have hyperpigmentation in that area now I'm using the NYX this is an eyeshadow base this reminds me a lot of soft ochre by MAC I would even consider it a dupe so if you don't want to pay the quaint for that product you can definitely get this one they have it in flesh tone they also have it in this white yellowy shade which is like soft ochre so just blending that on my lid and y'all it lasts all day and I don't get any creases and I have extremely oily lids now I'm going in with my what is this <laughs> this is a studio quad by Maybelline and it's an all matte one so I just took the cream color now I'm going in with the warm shade in that palette this one is really good because all of the shades are matte now maybe it has a new palette that I actually want to try this is the old school one you know we this is all about favorites so I haven't tried that product so I thought it wouldn't be fair to put it on here but this is a favorite y'all NYX the highlight contour palette is a bay I keep going back to that so I can use it if I want to warm up my crease I just go in with the bronzer shade like I, I do here and I tend to do that a lot of times with bronzers if you don't have this bronzer a great one is the deep tan by NYX too which is a dupe to the chocolate Soleil by Too Faced now this is full throttle this is a full throttle quad and does this not remind you of the Anastasia colors did y'all see that palette 
yes reminds you also of the sephora warm palette like get four shades out of that loving four so um yeah just blending it out and i'm trying to use affordable brushes y'all that was from bh cosmetics but it's not from the drugstore but it's definitely affordable my favorite pigment to spraying some um this is am is this amber light no amber rush i'll put it down below uh, you know I can surely mess up a name, okay? But this is one of L'Oreal's like pigments, loose pigments. One of my favorite. It's a cold favorite among a lot of YouTubers too. So I'm just patting that on my lid. Y'all know I love some shimmer on the lid. Go on. And just trying to get flaky flake, okay? And just blending in that crease again. You always want to go back and blend. Go back and blend. Even if it's natural. You know now this is the face base this is first base by NYX this is a uh, similar to like Smashbox primer water I would say now I'm going in with one of my favorite concealers from the drugstore y'all this is the photo focus concealer this is a medium peach this is such a good concealer y'all if you're sleeping on this you are under a rock get from under that rock and go get this concealer I'm just saying, it's really good and it's under four dollars. Can't you can't beat that now? I'm using my Eco Tool sponge. You see how I'm trying to be affordable with everything I'm using. Uh, it comes with two sponges, which is pretty cool for ten dollars. I got it from Ulta, but I think you can also get this from Walgreens. But Eco Tools is the bomb. They have some really good brushes. I'm just saying. Uh, and the eco, no, the real techniques you can also get from the drugstore. So, just blending that foundation, which I, no, that was the concealer, not the foundation. Get it together, Melissa. Now I'm just setting that. Y'all, I'm setting that with uh, the Maybelline Fit Me. This is a press powder. It is so bomb under the eye. Thank you, Kathleen Lights, girl. This is KL approved, okay? But I'm just setting wherever I put concealer, the T-zone, under my chin to keep it spell, under my eyes. I'm just dusting. I'm just dusting people. Yes. So, this is my favorite pressed powder, y'all. Y'all don't know nothing about the better skin. It is super smooth. Maybe it's Maybelline. Or maybe it's me. <laughs> But this is enriched tan. This is all amazing, okay? This is, I wanna say 90 or 92 rich tan. I don't know. But y'all, this is like my no foundation routine and this is the powder to go to. I mean, it makes me have super smooth skin and if I want it super smooth, then I just go in with a brush. Now I'm using a 95 cocoa, no, 95 coconut. <laughs> I finally got something right. I'm using this as my bronzer. I'm telling y'all, if y'all have not found a Bay bronzer from the drugstore, get it. Get your favorite powder two or three shades darker and use that. Just putting on some lip balm and now I'm going on into that to just brighten it up using that highlight contour palette. Just use my wet sponge and I'm just mattifying that area I wanted some brightness so there's a really good yellow and beige that I've mixed in that palette uh, from NYX and it's really good so now I'm just going to win contouring y'all they have a warm contour and a, a gray tone contour I guess that's what you would say so I like that because it has both this is one of my favorite this is an OG y'all pearlescent, pearlescent pink I like mellow wine too, but pearlescent pink is a jam. It's so pretty on the cheeks. It's so subtle. It's kind of like tart exposed, but with shimmer. Y'all, this has become like my favorite daytime glow. Oh my goodness. All time favorite now. It's Day Glow by Milani. I did not think that I was going to really love this, but this is it has such a subtle glow and it's not chunky the glitter is not chunky it's like fine and it just makes you look like you're glowing within from within you know 
I'm glowing people putting on some mascara this is my favorite mascara y'all Rimmel accelerator accelerated a lash this is the lengthening lengthening one they have a volume this one is so so good but it is bomb for your bottom lashes there are a couple of mascaras that I love from drugstore thumbs up this video and comment down below let me know what your favorite drugstore because I want to check it out because I'm a drugstore whore I call it drugstore mascara yes but see how it lengthens my lashes and this it really doesn't do any justice y'all ain't close enough but that's the only thing I don't like about being on film sometimes is that it really doesn't show the lashes unless you wear like exaggerated lashes putting on one of my favorite lips I want to say this is from Jordana. I'll, I'll put it down below. I want to say this is Tawny. Or it might be Revlon Sienna. It's one of those, but I'll put it down below. Y'all, and I just filled in my lips with that. And that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Oh, I'm not done. <laughs> this is, I thought I was finished. Oh, I decided to put on some eyeliner, and now I'm finished. So now I'm just spraying my face with some setting spray from the drugstore, yes. And this is the final look, y'all. Holla. This is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It always lets me know what you guys love to see here on the channel. Know that I post videos every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. And yeah, I do makeup videos, hair videos, hair reviews. I do a ton load of lifestyle videos right now. We are saving $10,000, yes, in the bank, cha-ching. So make sure you follow that series. And yeah, love you guys. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, loveys.